bunch of dancing mm. holes. Oh, be so hungry. Like Good effort. Yeah, but why they dress like vaginas. girls? Looking cheap and vulgar. Go and learn how to dress while Show dancing. Show your vagina. Want to poke WTF. their deep navels. Nice boots. Even in America boots. and Europe, they won't Babe, dress this way. Don't work so hard. Pussy. Just grab my attention. Vulgar would you know be an understatement. Decreasing. Bloody bastards. I masturbate seeing this dance. Vulgar. We played ghar ghar. I played the wife and he was my husband. One day he took off his t-shirt, pinned me down and started to make out while dry humping me. This is what a husband does to his wife, he said. I didn't understand, so I didn't react. Later I told mom. Never saw him after that and I never even asked. Thank you mom for taking action, but sadly. I was 12, I was on his bike with him. He touched my vagina and my breast again and again and again. Pakad ke rakhna, gir jaogi, he kept saying. He was family. He is family. I was familiar and comfortable with him. Smiling his brightest, he would offer me chocolate, make me sit on his lap, then casually run his hand up my thigh and graze my vagina. I guess he didn't touch my breast since I hadn't developed them. Seven is quite a young age, you see. He bribed me not to tell. I told. He was my sister's 57-year-old teacher. I was cycling. My books fell off. This man came saying, Aapke upar makdi hai. Before I could react, he had touched my vagina, my breast and my ass. And then he was gone. Travelling to college, getting constantly groped was a daily norm. I find the need to mention my attire during one incident when my breasts were pressed in public view. Salwar kameez with a neatly pinned dupatta. The rickshaw guy driving me grabbed my hand as I paid him, smirked and asked an 11-year-old me, Tumhe sex aata hai? I ran away in tears. Three hours after class when I came out, that asshole was still there. That worker came from behind, grabbed my breasts and squeezed them hard. I screamed for mom. She trashed the living daylights out of the asshole and threw him out. Thank you mom for showing me how to treat these bastards. But... While I slept, he fondled my body parts. I thought he'd stop. He didn't. So I confronted him and he blamed me for coming on to him. But such is your blind faith and family. You make yourself believe them. He came up from behind as I walked home, grazed my right breast and bum and cycled away. I heard him giggle and threw a book at him. The result? Angry tears and a man who didn't seem sorry at all. On the bus, he sweetly offered me his seat, while getting up, grabbing my thigh, then ass and then my waist. Hopping off, he flashed his penis through his open zip and his sweetest smile. If it's of any relevance, I was wearing a salvar kameez. He touched me again, this time while his wife slept next to us. I woke up shocked, disgusted and started to leave. Are you going to the bathroom, he asked. Want me to come with you? He was a friend. In my vulnerable state, he groped me, touched me, did more than once. He was somebody I trusted. We were close. Dear men, we're not objects, we're not things, we're not your possession, you're not superior to us. We have achieved everything that you have and we stand right next to you, shoulder to shoulder in every goddamn field. Hell, each one of you was created by one of us. It's pretty simple, you see. Do not say or do anything you wouldn't want done or said to your sister, your mother, your daughter, your wife. If what I wear makes you uncomfortable, who's asking you to wear it? If you don't like what I do, don't do it. I could be in shorts, a crop, a dress, salwar kameez, a burqa, Maybe my midriff shows, maybe my cleavage or maybe nothing at all. It's none of your business, as long as it's my choice, my decision, my comfort. Stop asking me to change. It's time you change.